All right, now this is a fireside chat. You notice yesterday they had to stand. On Friday, they realize that standing is probably not a good idea. <laughs> so I have our little fire. We've got a little fire in our bellies with the mimosas as well, I think. Excellent, <laughs> excellent. So, Kevin, I teed up a little bit what Kiva does. They saw the video, but how did you end up at Kiva? What brought you there? Well, Yvonne, every uh, Kievan has a story, and uh, my story started back in 2008 in college. I was good friends with a girl named Mariana, and one of the smartest people in the room type, type folks, and she started telling me about this Kiva thing and the impact it was having on the world and said, oh, you have to get involved, you have to find out about this. And uh, I, I listened to her, but I, you know, I, I checked it out, but I didn't really get into it. And then, uh, unfortunately, she, she passed away in an accident but I started a memorial fund for her on Kiva, and that really got me connected, and I connected with the staff, and I kept engaging with this community of wonderful lenders that were supportive of this, this time. And eventually, this uh, job came up where this, what she was doing, she was translating and reviewing loans in Portuguese that were coming out of Mozambique as a volunteer, and we have hundreds of volunteers that are doing this. And the software that she was using to do that um, and that we built out, the opportunity came on to work for that. And so I, I saw the universe uh, just connecting me in this way and found my way to Kiva. Wow. Thank you for sharing that very personal story. And I think it's part of the things that with, with a lot of nonprofit organizations, there is usually a very personal tie that brings somebody there. What, what's kept you there? What are some of the Kiva stories? What's one of your favorites? Uh, there's, there's a lot of great stories with uh, the millions of borrowers we had at Kiva. But one of my favorites is uh, there's a partner, Honeycare Africa, and they work out of Kenya, um, Sub-Saharan Africa, and they work with small farmers. And if you imagine, you know, you and I think about the problems we have day to day, there's small farmers that they have a problem where they wake up in the morning and an elephant has trampled their crops. <laughs> so for me, and that makes my life seem a little easier. Um, and what Honeycare <laughs> Africa does is they, they actually give bees, they lend them out as part of this program to these farmers and they create bee fences. And elephants, as, as you might not know, are actually afraid of the bees. And so it does this double duty of keeping the elephants off of the farms and giving them a source of income by being able to collect the honey to sell back at the market. However, they found there was a little problem. Um, I don't know if anybody out there is, is afraid of bees. I was one time afraid of bees. Well, it turns out our farmers are afraid of bees as well. <laughs> so they weren't actually collecting the honey. So they had to go out and say, OK, yes, like, um, you know, here's some training. Here's, here's some equipment to do this. And uh, they started returning that and started seeing this extra income for these farmers. And, and they started having success through these loan programs. And it's, it's stories like that that bring in um, lenders like me and, and also one of my favorite lenders out there in the, in the world in uh, rural Australia, this woman talked to her on the phone one time asking her about Kiva and just seeing what inspired her. And she said she was 70 years old, her kids were grown and gone, grandkids out in the world and getting up every morning and getting on Kiva and connecting with her fellow team members on there to find good loans and getting the updates from the rest of the world and seeing that impact, that's what inspired her every day to keep going. Stuff like that is uh, what inspires me every day to keep going. Yeah, I mean, amazing stories. And I think it's what we touched on earlier. There, there's ways to connect now in the world that we didn't have before through software and technology. You, you briefly touched on um, some of the facts, but Kiva operates in over 82 countries. They have three quarters of a billion dollars of loans that they've supported with over a million lenders. Technologically, as a CTO, how do you do that? <laughs> <laughs> with a lot of late nights. Uh, but there's uh, many systems, yeah, that we have to maintain, and, and many people that we're serving, both here in San Francisco, or if you can imagine, out in the rural Congo on a uh, 56 kilobit dial-up connection that goes off and on every day. There's a partner system that we have to make sure works and is, is there so these people can actually post loans and receive funds and distribute it out to these borrowers that really need this opportunity. And there's, there's also the systems for our administrators to make sure that every penny is being collected from the lenders, being sent out to the borrowers, and getting back. And if you can imagine all the edge cases of sending money back and forth across the world, there's just you know, thousands of them out there that we have to monitor for constantly to make sure we're not messing it up. Because we want that integrity of showing that this money is going where it should be. 
And there's the review and translation program of five different languages. We're translating you know, tens of thousands of loans a month with all these volunteers, have to make sure that that keeps going. And just various systems like that that power what you see of this, this one website that we're monitoring to make sure it works. But even then, if you imagine we were on Oprah's favorite things at one point, and uh, all of a sudden we had this huge cascade of traffic, and we're you know, desperately fighting to keep the site up. And at that time, we actually just threw a donation banner up. And I think at the time, it saved Kiva, because we got enough money to buy enough systems to handle. <laughs> but now, thankfully, with, uh, with systems like New Relic, I think we do. Uh, we, we have this, the systems in place to make sure that everything's running smoothly and, and catching it when it's not. And, and that's what uh, I try to solve. Fabulous. And I'd be remiss if I didn't key off on the New Relic component. So lots of systems. But how did you, how did you start using New Relic and what does it allow you to do? Well, it's, uh, it was a great thing. One of our DevOps engineers showed it to me and to the group and said, guys, I, I think we should really do this. And at the time, we were using five, six different systems for monitoring slow queries and Nagios. If you've ever seen the Nagios UI, you know, you get tired of it after five years or more. And uh, just all these different tools that were in place going around in different places. And he was saying, this is a great thing. Let's try it out. And we did. But then it was sort of one of those things where, well, that would be amazing if we could afford it. And we learned about afterwards. Uh, the, the nonprofit program and said, oh, we, we really love this. Now that we can be part of this nonprofit program, we can really use this. And so then we jumped full in, sort of set all these side systems away and, and moved our main monitoring and everything into New Relic and really embraced it at that point. And it's, it's been a real boon for us. And, and everybody, you know, allows us to not get uh, that worry of uh, not being able to sleep at night. <laughs> Fabulous, fabulous. Well, I say a couple uh, key themes we heard last night from Camille about having way too many monitoring systems isn't great. So it's great we were able to help consolidate. And for me, as the exec sponsor of the nonprofit program, it warms my heart to know that that's helped make that possible for some of the organizations like yours. Kevin, I really want to thank you for the time. It's been great having you here. Um, thank all you right. for all that Kiva does. Huh. It's really fabulous. Yeah. Big round of applause for Kevin. Yeah.